patient, Brian, two years old, male, showed signs of tiredness, trouble sleeping, no appetite, and refusing to walk. Performed a urine test and awaiting results for next appointment. Ah, Lisa, I have your son's results. He tested positive for mercury poisoning. Mercury? How come he tested positive for that? Well, many products used today, like these, contain mercury or quicksilver, which is a toxic chemical. I've used it every day for years to brighten my face. Even my brother uses it to lighten the areas around his tattoo. Why is there mercury in that? The creams you use are absorbed by your body, and the mercury in it blocks the formation of melanin, which lightens the color of your skin. And Brian could have been exposed to mercury from skin-to-skin -skin contact or from any residues. And these high levels of mercury can also affect your unborn baby in the womb as well as when you are breastfeeding. Because children are still developing, symptoms of mercury poisoning may show up sooner. But you may also be experiencing symptoms without even realizing it. And that can lead to renal failure, cardiovascular collapse, or severe gastroenteritis damage. Because of Brian's mercury exposure, we need to get him treated right away. And we need to get you tested to determine your level of mercury poisoning. <sighs> okay, doc. There are many alternatives available to you. So when purchasing products, if you are unsure about the brand or ingredients, read the label or check online here for more information.